Hey everybody, welcome back. David at Twice Diecast got a package from Mattel. Let's take a look and see what is in it. Okay, so here it is. This is the RLC that honestly, and I'm not kidding you guys, this is one of the few that I have absolutely really really wanted i'm not big on muscle cars i'm not big on drag buses gassers but when i saw this one come out i asked for help from my buddy christian who's a member of the rlc the redline club i asked him to uh, consider giving me a little bit of help of getting one of these 2006 bmw m3 and so Christian, of course, the guy that he is, made that happen. And I am pretty excited. Mine uh, that came yesterday, and you can't see it, number 10684 out of 20,000. And honestly, that number doesn't mean a thing to me because we are gonna do something that I never thought I would do on this channel and we are gonna crack open an RLC piece. So hang around for the next few minutes. We're going to take a look at the car. So this is how you get it from Hot Wheels. If you've never seen an RLC, you get a Protecto with a Hot Wheels Flame logo on it. So it is from the manufacturer. This is the beautiful card art that you get. You get the Hot Wheels logo in Chrome. You get the car on the card art looking amazingly. This one even looks... I don't know if maybe the wheel is turned or <laughs> if it's stanced or what. Um, just a really awesome vehicle. This is the casting that was in the Euro Fast, Euro Speed, the white one with the green rims. So this says uh, 2006 BMW M3. This is a nod to the E46, which we will look at. Um, the little Easter egg from Hot Wheels is that it has E46 on the license plate. And that is because that is one of the most popular versions of the M3. So here we go, guys. Let's crack this open and look at it. Can't really enjoy this Spectre Flame behind plastic. So I am going to get it out. We're going to take a look at it and see if it is worth all of the hype that it's had lately. My personal opinion, one of the best castings I've seen from Hot Wheels, Mattel's, and a Mattel in a long time. This one has an opening part. It's got a hood that opens. You get an extra level of protection in the case to keep it steady. Um, look at the look at the detail work under the hood. You have got an insane amount of detail going on. I don't know all the parts. I know there's a lot of cover colors. Um, it's just beautiful. So let's kind of take it, dissect it panel by panel here. Opening bonnet, mine lays pretty well, pretty flush. My buddy got his, it didn't lay as nice as this. So I'm calling this a huge win for me. This paint color is called Phoenix Yellow with a matte black chassis. I love it. It's almost like a, I mean, is this the antifreeze color? I don't know, but it's awesome. So we'll, let's start on the bottom. Let's do the boring part first. Here's your base, 2019 casting, really new, M3, two rivets, and a little bit of exhaust, few suspensions, some tail lamps, dotted in chrome on the back, painted tail lamps with a reverse light as well as a turn indicator. You've even got the M3 badge on the deck lid. We've talked about the license plate, E46 M3, 
and I can't tell if what it says above the numbers. If you're watching this on your 90 inch TV, feel free to comment. Look at that, look at that profile shot. Trying to get the light. Wanted to do this outside, uh, just sun was wreaking havoc with all the shadows. But look at the shimmer, guys. Coming around on the front, Tampo headlamps. And a little bit of depth right there. You've got a grill that is textured, probably part of the base. It appears to be the same paint color. You got the kidneys painted, the kidney grill, and they are painted around in silver. You've got some fog lights hidden in those bottom vents. A little bit of detail on the hood. This is a left-hand drive. It's a gray interior. Really glad this was not an opening doors piece. The gaps would have been all messed up. This thing looks sleek. You can see a real steering wheel. You can see a gear shift, maybe an e-brake on the side. We'll come around on this side, see if we can get any more detail. Not really. You've got your dash, can see that, and some dials on that. So I love the 10 spoke wheels. They are, you know, you can see through them. They're not solid wheels, rubber tires, no tread on these. Would have been, you know, the smallest right possible is that we could have gotten some tires with tread, but I love this thing. This is the 2006 BMW M3, the newest RLC offering. Um, hope you enjoyed it today. I don't uh, suspect I'll be cracking too many more open in the future. Thanks uh, again to Christian for helping me get this and acquire it. This is, uh, this is a beauty. So we will just take a few more looks uh, around the vehicle. I'm kind of looking at it in my hand for the first time as well. Thanks for dropping by. Uh, I've got some stuff on the way. We should have a pretty full video this weekend. Some really new, interesting Matchbox packaging and sets that have come out. So hope you enjoyed this. Um, stay tuned. I will see you in a couple days. This is David with Twice Diecast.